Good evening, my friends. It has been a very busy day in the Weather Center today, and we're anticipating a pretty active stretch ahead. We do have a Weather Authority alert day issued for this coming Friday. That is because of Hurricane Helene. But right now, we're still seeing a lot of rainfall. We did have a few tornado warnings. They have now expired. But overall, everything we've seen today has not been because of Helene. In actuality, we've just had a stationary front that has lived up to its name. It was the same front that was hanging around this time yesterday and did cause some tornado warnings to spin up here and there. But right now we are still seeing this rain that has not moved again. Very stationary, hence the name, and this is still sticking around. We do have widespread rainfall across near all of our zones into the Highlands and New River Valley into the Roanoke zone as well. Lynchburg included. We're still seeing a a lot of these green boxes popping up as well. These are flash flood warnings. These are expiring about 2 30 to 2 45 early tomorrow morning. And with all of this heavy rainfall, we have gotten a lot of rain in a very short amount of time. And that's why we do have those flash flood warnings that are in place. And the rainfall that we're seeing now is falling over an already saturated ground, which is not a good combination. We saw a lot of rainfall yesterday, especially south side. You did see a lot of rainfall yesterday, but today, We've added a little bit to that. And again, with the saturated ground, this is already not a good mix. Now, those flood alerts, again, that are still in place, we do have flood watches in effect as you move further in to about Independence, just south of Withville. But most of us still just seeing you know, those flash flood warnings that are in place. And this is going to be the story over the next few days as Hurricane Helene does get closer towards our area. Tracking the tropics is the actual track of Helene that we have been watching. Right now, this is still Category 1, likely making landfall as a Category 4 as we go throughout the next couple of days. We will be seeing the effects as early as a Thursday afternoon into the evening hours continuing into the day on Friday. And the reason why, even though this eye is expected to make landfall on Thursday, and we'll still be seeing the effects here on Thursday, even though the eye will still be hanging out into Florida, Georgia, and Alabama as well. This is a very broad storm and a lot of rotation with this, and those outer bands are going to be affecting us, even though that eye may be a little bit further to the south. So right now, 85 miles an hour, the wind that that speed right now, we will getting be, we will be getting another track of this an updated track by four o'clock tomorrow morning. So keeping you on uh, and keeping you updated with this. But another concern is the tornado potential as we head towards the day on Friday. We have still seen those tornadoes this evening again, not affiliated with Helene, but because of this tight rotation, and we're still seeing an organized band of thunderstorms that are rotating currently. As this heads further north, we're seeing a lot of that rotation in the atmosphere with those storms again. That is why we do have those concerns with those tornadoes. Again, that's the reasoning behind that Weather Authority alert day that we're seeing on Friday. Again, tomorrow we still have that chance of rainfall. High temperature of 74 degrees and also seeing 74 on Friday. Again, that is when the bulk of the rainfall will be into our area. 